What's up guys, Spot here. We got some more discussion of Black Ops 3 Zombies. This time we're taking a look at the character Nero, uh, kind of specifically. But we're going to talk about the storyline and sort of the overreaching Easter egg. Because I think I'm on to something here, okay? So Nero, voiced by Jeff Goldblum. A couple days ago, Treyarch released some photos. Remember yesterday I talked about uh, the new perk, Widow's Wine, right? Well, there's some other photos from San Diego Comic-Con they released, and there were a couple related to Nero. The first one was this one. He will predict your future. Now, notice the little devil-like dude sitting on his shoulder. We're going to come back to that, okay? The second image is a collage of posters featuring Nero, and it contains quotes like, Knows all the fearless feat which defies belief. Human pincushion, the wheel of death, and will award a million dollars to the man who can unravel the mystery of his greatest illusion. Now remember that last one too, we're going to come back to that one a bit later on as well, okay? Okay, we're going to Kino. Remember in Kino, there were a number of posters hung on the walls in the theater promoting this movie in, called Foe. You see the, the poster right there in Kino. Foe is a 1926 film, which is a bit odd because it's being promoted in the time frame in Kino, which I don't think is in 1926. But the plot of the movie revolves around a bet by the demon Fisto with an archangel that he can corrupt a righteous man's soul and destroy in him what is divine. If Mephisto succeeds, the devil wins dominion over Earth. That's not really clear what the archangel gets if the devil... If, he doesn't succeed, but whatever. So the devil delivers a deadly plague to Foe's village, and Foe prays to stop the death and starvation of all the people, but it doesn't work. He then forsakes all his beliefs. It's like, man, I don't believe in this anymore. Like, God came and took all these people, and he's not helping me just because I'm praying. He then forsakes all his beliefs, and he makes a pact with Mephisto, a deal with the devil for youth, earthly pleasures, and a kingdom in exchange for his soul. But in the end... Now... There's some stuff that happens in between, obviously, murders and debauchery. But in the end, Foe sacrifices himself for love and Mephisto loses the bet because he still has something divine within him. He gave himself up for love, okay? Well, how does that relate to Shadows of Evil? Well, I believe, based upon what we've seen in Shadows of Evil thus far, that Nero is a central character in Black Ops 3 Zombies, similar to what we've had with the original crew and Richtofen, right? Richtofen was kind of central. I mean, we, we know a little bit about the other characters, but he was like the focal character. And Samuel as well from Black Ops 2. I mean, Samuel was the only one that could talk to Richtofen, etc. So there was kind of a focus on one of the four characters in each of, you know, the groups of characters. And I'm, I'm you know, discounting like Call of the Dead. Uh, Mob of the Dead did, in fact, uh, have that, but Call of the Dead, not really. All right? So... I also believe that the general storyline that's going to revolve around Shadows of Evil is going to be quite similar to the story of Foe that we just talked about. Each of the four characters, and we know a lot of this stuff, each of the four characters has been corrupted, I think. Obviously, they didn't just start out when they were born as like these evil people, maybe. Uh, but they've been corrupted by some form of event or events in their lives, right? Like the cop, you know, he wanted to do good, but then he got... Uh, you know, money in, thrown in front of him by the mob, whatever. And same with the boxer. I mean, he, you know, maybe he started off as being good, but then the money got to him, right? So, you know, there's, there was an event or events in their lives that led them from a path of righteousness, righteousness to the path upon which has led them to here, you know, the shadows of evil and the zombie apocalypse. And the trailer even states that uh, they're there for a reason. They all have this sordid past, and we see images of them, you know, killing people, etc. I think all four of them have actually killed people. So I believe that the story will require each of them to redeem themselves and possibly break from their destructive paths to once again travel the path of righteousness. I think the key to this happening, though, lies with Nero, and quite possibly to his greatest illusion, as, as described earlier. Possibly the greatest illusion, you know, where, where he was offer, he's offering a million dollars to somebody who can um, figure out his greatest illusion. Possibly that's related to the Easter egg. I mean, we can see from portions of the Shadows of Evil trailer that Nero seems to be the one performing some kind of magic, and there's a sacrifice also that's occurring, and uh, is possibly directly linked to the Shadow Man. Uh, we could also surmise that perhaps 
the Shadow Man himself could either be a Mephisto character or an Archangel. Is he there to help or hinder? And again, they mention exactly that in the trailer. Or, my thinking is to perhaps guide the characters while still allowing them to choose their own path. All right, You remember this uh, movie called Evan Almighty with uh, Steve Carroll? Right? It's kind of similar to what we see in there where God is talking to his, uh, his wife because his wife left them. And he's saying, you know, well, God doesn't just give people courage. He gives them with the opportunity to be courageous. So is this overarching character, this, this shadow man, is he the person that is giving them the opportunity to be righteous? Not to make them righteous, but give them the opportunity to do so. All right, so what else? Well, bear with me. And if we stay with the storyline, then perhaps we'll revisit the concept of two possible endings to the map and or the Easter egg, depending on which path we choose. And we saw that Black Ops 2. It makes sense. The path of the righteous, where they choose the righteous path and they do things that are going to, you know, take them away and, and, and from the zombie apocalypse and put them back into their lives with the opportunity to right their wrongs. Or the path of evil, right? The path of evil, and, you know, that that culminates in the zombies winning dominion over the world, and perhaps with them at the helm or in charge of the zombies. Uh, perhaps the sacrifice scene shown here from the trailer depicts part of the evil path. I mean, it doesn't make sense that if they're going to be righteous, they're going to be sacrificing some dude. Uh, despite what people might think about Transit, Die, Rise, and Buried, I mean, the fact that we had two-sided Easter eggs in each map that correlated with each other. I mean, they, they sort of combined with each other and culminated in the two finales on Buried. I think that was fantastic. I think that was awesome. And I think Treyarch might build upon that and make it even better. Possibly. I, this is all, you know, from my head. Uh, in addition, I mean, that, that promotes map replayability. I mean, I know they have the ranking system, and that's going to promote replayability, but I think the fact that you have these two Easter... Possibly these two Easter eggs and the two endings, I think that's going to promote replayability as well. So I don't know. That's that's basically where I'm at. I think, I think we're looking at the story of Foe. I think we're possibly looking at two different paths that the characters can take. So what do you guys think? Am I out in left field here? What? Am I, am I playing baseball? <laughs> or am I... Or am I on to something? I don't know. I'd love to know what your opinions are. So, um, you know, please feel free to share them in the video comments. Share them, guys. And we'll, uh, we'll discuss it. Either way, I'm telling you, November is going to be a very, very interesting time. I can't wait, man. Still four months away. Or less than four months away. It's insane. Anyways, guys, I'm Spider and I'm out.